That is because he's a male and he likes to pee on and in his water bucket. So that has helped tremendously. Missy, stop! Knock it off. Grace can run if she wants to. Bossy. Missy? I don't really have an agenda for this vlog. I kind of just wanted to do it honestly so you could see what happened to me. Because I kind of, I find it quite funny. Um, I got my wisdom teeth removed yesterday. And I was hoping I would act just like the boys and just recover in a couple days pretty much. No, nope, I reacted like my other sisters. It swelled up really bad. It doesn't hurt terrible. I mean, it, I'm not going to press hard on that because that already hurts, but I think if you strong enough Advil that it ain't too bad, but I find it pretty funny is what I find it. So, I usually don't vlog unless I actually have something to kind of go over. Um... I guess I need to update you on Mo, but other than that, not really anything going on. Just walking the dogs. I don't know when I last introduced you to the dogs. I probably haven't this year. This is Molly. Who is being a love bug tonight. I do run shot collars on some of my dogs. Um, like Molly, for example, she took off down the road a few weeks ago and wouldn't stop. And when I tried to chase her down, I couldn't find her. I think she hid in the bushes or something. So, that was, that was right closer to six or seven weeks ago. But I ain't about to let it happen again, so I've been running her with a shot collar when I've been out. Um, Missy has a bark collar. She just wears that pretty much all the time. It's loose, so the prongs aren't even touching her. It's just for the vibrate part. Um, so there's no risk of sores or anything from that. And I've been running shot call on Grace, too, ever since I got her in April. And I haven't used it in several weeks. Um, but the way to ruin a dog is to make them, let, allow them to figure out that they don't have to listen to you when the collar's not on. So I leave them on for a long, long time when I take them out and whatever, so they, so they, that doesn't happen. So that's just why those three are wearing collars. Ginger and Clark have been real good. Ginger's always been pretty good. I think she's never had a shot collar for not listening, just for barking. But even at that, that's really not, she doesn't like nuisance barks, she just barks at things once in a while. Clark's had a bark collar, but in the last three or four months, no, it was ever since he had his surgery, because then he was in the barn for a long time. That's like back in February. He's been fine, so I haven't had anything on him. But some of the others, I still use them a little bit. You are not going to run away today, are you? Why are you being such a cuddle bug? Goodness. Alright, so I should finish. So that's Molly. This is Missy. That's Grace. That's Grace, the black lab. You've seen her, but maybe you've never heard her name. And that's Ginger standing and Clark on the ground chewing on a bone he found. They say border collies are high energy. Mine are pretty content to sit around. It's that thing that's a nutcase. I don't know how the black labs make good family pets when they're that energetic. Only thing I can get guess is I got a weird one. My border collies have less energy than she does.
Black Lab versus Border Collies. You tell me which one is more high energy. That thing's not so. You terrible high energy Border Collies. Man, you wear me out. Black Labs are so much better of a family pet. Right, Missy. Missy, you're the highest energy border call I have, aren't you? you? Lazy bum. Man, Grace. Remember? It's supposed to be lower energy than Border Collies. Border Collies are supposed to be the highest energy dogs there are. What's your deal, huh? Goodbye. For all you terrible maniac dogs, you probably better go before your joints stiffen up from non non movement. You think? Come on. Come on, dogs. <laughs>